Sometimes y'all send us really good ideas. If someone walks by our car right now, what do they think is going on? And sometimes you send us really bad ideas. But we oh, no! oh no! So today we're gonna try some of the most interesting bad ideas and also rate them. <laughs> and judge you. And judge you. But first, a good idea. Do you feel inadequate about what's in your pants? Well, you won't if you get the Pixel 8 Pro from today's sponsor, Google. If you want to be the designated selfie taker of your friend group, this is the phone for you. There's a feature called Best Take that blends together multiple group shots to make the best photo, even if you make a lot of weird, awkward faces. Finding similar shots to improve photo. Oh! Which one of me do you want, baby? That one. What if I just mess up yours? Hey! <laughs> their audio magic eraser to remove background noise. That's better. Or maybe you want to take epic action pics of your cat, but she always turns out looking like a blurry void. Well, you can use the camera pro controls to unlock advanced camera settings like shutter speed, ISO, and more. The Pixel 8 Pro has camera features powered by Google AI that give you amazing photos and videos every time. So be confident about what's in your pants and check out the Google Pixel 8 Pro online at googlestore.com. Thanks Google Pixel for sponsoring that part of our video. Now back to your bad ideas. So using a hammer at workbench height isn't that hard. But what if you had to hammer something down on the ground, like if you're building a deck? Oh, my back! Oh. Instant pain. Oh. So Caitlin with two ends submitted a really good idea. Hammer shoes. Let's try to make some. Now we considered several different methods to make hammer shoes, but we don't have very much faith in our ability to aim. My foot. <laughs> so we're gonna cover the entire bottom of Caitlin's shoe with this eighth inch thick sheet of metal. That should work. Yep. Hey, leave your shoe there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you just wanna take it off? Take no, it off. I like being up here. <laughs> okay. Wow, so perfect and precise. I'm getting footage. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's see. Perfect. There we go. Now we don't want to cut just this out because we won't have any room for attachments. We should probably offset it by a certain amount and then cut that out. Yeah. All right, let's see how accurate I am. <laughs> <laughs> Save the best for last. Ready? Oh, come on. Do it. Peel it off sensually. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant just like, like slowly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look Ooh. at that. Now that looks like a professional. Piece of Peace. metal. Don't mind the jaggedy bits. No. no that, that adds character. Yep, and grip. Now, Anyways. we need to attach this to the shoe, so we got a whole bunch of fun shoelaces. Just in case. We didn't know how many we would need. Oh my god, this, this is overwhelming. <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? Yellow. Now we don't really have a lacing technique in mind. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, no, we don't really have a plan. Well, also that. <laughs> <laughs> we just drilled some holes and we were like, yeah, we can probably attach it. It might work better with my foot in there, actually. Do you wanna stand up here or do you wanna like? I'll just sit. Yeah, I'm sure I can figure it out. Come on up. Just cause, <laughs> come on up. Thank you, thank you. I've always wanted to be on my own workbench. <laughs> The funny thing is like, this isn't even the weirdest thing we've done on our channel. No, definitely not. This feels like a normal Sunday. It's a normal Sunday. I don't wanna smash your finger. And now that you have hammer shoes on. I know, this is dangerous. No, it's not. This is safe and we this are professionals. This is safe and we are professionals. There we go, baby. Did we do this 
entire thing with one single shoelace. Heck yeah, And we, we bought did. a 50 pack. We're set for life. Yeah, we are. Ooh, listen to that. You wanna take up tap dancing? Please don't. Should we do a control first? I think we should. Let me just stay on my tiny designated square here. Okay, so I'm gonna test smashing this nail in by hand on the ground. We'll see how fast I do, and then we'll do the same thing with the shoes. See if the time or the experience is improved. All right, let's do it. All right, let me focus. And start. <laughs> it would help if you were holding the, the hammer in the end instead of in the middle. I think that's fine. I don't have much room to maneuver here, okay? I, my arm can't go back that far because I can't scoot any farther back because I'm designated to my square. <laughs> Which won't be an issue with your hammer shoes. Exactly. I didn't look at how, how long that was. We can look at it in post. Oh, <laughs> come on. Like... We've reviewed the footage. I hammered that nail in seven seconds. And I'm a little bit nervous about <laughs> hammering this nail in seven seconds. What if you get it in like three hits? I might. All right, on your marks. Get set. Hammer time. Oh no! <laughs> Does that count? Okay, we're gonna give it a second shot now that I've warmed up. Three, two, one, hammer time. Oh gosh, it's slipping, it's <laughs> slipping! Oh no! Oh, how did I remove a nail? <laughs> Keep on going, baby! Wait, 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 let me help. Emergency! Right in the middle of your most important test ever. Here, baby, let me help you lace. You know, this normal everyday hammer misfunction. Everyone goes through periods like this, it's normal. Soon you'll be better than ever. Thanks. Resume. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, keep on going. You're almost there, you're almost there. You're almost there. Is that it? Let's, let's count it as complete. Yay! 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 Yay. I really wonder which one was faster. All right, so to summarize, seven seconds for the hammer. 45 seconds if you count just the actual stomping with the hammer shoe. But that doesn't fully account for the experience. How does the experience compare? Well, one was much more exciting. <laughs> and in one, I look really cute. <laughs> <laughs> How do you rate hammer shoes? I'm gonna give them a 1.5 out of five stars. Sometimes in the workshop, you have accidents. And you end up with holes in your shirt. Well, Yandere has an idea, fixing holes in clothes using resin. So let's try it. <laughs> now we went back and forth on what resin design we should use. Yeah, do we go for something that is like bright and colorful and kind of emphasizes the hole, or do we try to actually cover the hole up? We decided to be a little bit practical for once and try black and see if we can make the holes disappear. And we thought we'd put the silicone mat behind the holes so that we don't resin the shirt to itself. Yeah. So we have a variety of hole sizes here. Yeah. I'm down to start with the little teeny guy first. Yeah. Resin time, resin time, do, 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 resin time. Okay, I'm gonna do some precise resining here. Let's do it. This feels wrong. Okay, I think that's all we need for the little one. Yeah, there's a tiny little drop. It's kind of soaking into the fabric, weirdly. Wow! I thought it would yeah. kind of stay mounted on top. It was bulging up, but now it's just it's soaking It's bleeding. In. Okay, that's good to know for the next hole, because otherwise I might have done way too much. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Move on to the next. 
I'm just gonna start, like, maybe I'll start at the edges. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, look at that, it's gone. The hole's gone, where'd it go? Wow. I can't even see it from back here. <laughs> okay, we'll do the big one. This is yeah. gonna be harder to like get the flaps down, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna try to weigh them down. I'm also kind of worried about this hole in particular because it's on the side of me and we're drawing it flat. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You know, like, it's right here. It's on the curve. What's done is done. There's no other way to do this. It has to be flat. It feels like you're closing up, like, an organic gap in something. It does feel vaguely medical. Yeah. Well, but look at like, this. <gasps> look at this. What, 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 what? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, don't put your finger next to it. I, I can't see it. I can't focus. It's gone. Uh, I guess I'll just add more. It got fully absorbed. Even this one, look, it's pulling away. Oh I, my gosh. I don't know gosh. what to do other than add more. We could get a heat lamp and flash cure it. I mean, I guess so. I think it's gonna need two rounds of resin because it is pulling away a lot. So Evan brought out the heat lamp. Hopefully this will help it cure a bit faster so we can do another round of this today. Yeah, this is the very first time ever we've heated up resin to make it go faster. Yeah, weird. We usually want to avoid that. Oh yeah, it's starting, it's getting hot. Okay, okay, all okay, right, okay, all okay, right. okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's see how this does. So. Well, it did something a bit unexpected. It fully soaked into the shirt. Yeah, I think the silicone just was really repellent. Well, I mean, and I know liquid will soak into fabric, but I think like this, Resin is so viscous. <laughs> we Our let it hope. cure though, and hopefully since it's cured, there's there's no more porousness in the fabric to soak it in. Yeah, this is pretty rigid at this point. And now we wait. We wait again. Huh. Oh. Well, it stayed this time. And it's cured. And it's cured. I am really excited and nervous to see what's on the other side. Hey, look at that. It's just flat. Nice. We have big flat patches. Rigid. And a little scratchy. Well, I sure am excited to put this on. I do feel cold discs sliding over me. Plastic discs oh. that are embedded into my shirt. Visually though, guys, first. Looks like you spilled water on yourself. I love how thick this edge piece is. <clears throat> you know, technically, the shirt is put back together again. Feel that, feel how dangerous that is. Oh, that is spiky, wow. Little one? Looks like a little spill. Medium one? Looks like a big spill. <laughs> it's starting to get a bit Oh, oh, no! oh no! The hole is back! It's bigger! It's oh, bigger! No. Oh no! Caitlin! The, oh my gosh, this is so interesting and exciting. The hole was this big, but because the resin went farther than the diameter of the hole, it snapped. It snapped the diameter of the resin, not the diameter of the hole. Therefore, your hole is bigger. Oh no. We were gonna throw this into the wash. We were. We were gonna throw this in the wash to see how it holds up. But I have a feeling that it's not gonna hold up very well long term, regardless of how it holds up in the wash. It's only gonna get worse. I rate it a 0 0.5. I agree. I kinda wanna like resin an entire shirt now. Or like old shirts, stack them and make like a layered, like, 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 like plywood, but with shirts and resin. What do you do with it? I don't know. Just have it? Then you make a bowl out of it or something. A bowl? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> We got new merch and it includes sweaters. Caitlin designed this really cool landscape that goes across the front, back, and sleeves with a retro Words Are Hard font. 
If you want a more subtle look, we also have this tone-on-tone -tone block sleeve sweater. And if for some strange reason sweaters aren't your thing, it also comes in tees and hoodies. You can also get it on stickers. These new designs are available for a limited time at shopevanandcaitlin.com. If you order by November 24th and choose rush shipping, you can still get these in time for Christmas. And if you want discount codes and early access to merch, sign up for our mailing list at shopevanandcaitlin.com. This idea comes from Minnie, make a coffee table with mannequin legs. Wow, you guys really want us to own more cursed furniture in our house, don't you? I wonder if these are gonna be as weird to own as I think they are. Oh, baby. Wow, the foot is weighted. There must be like concrete or something oh. in there, because look at that. <gasps> That's gonna be great for a table! Look at that. Oh, and, foot picks and... for free. <laughs> it's not really a foot. It's just kind of like a, a leg with a toe. Now, one thing I'm realizing just right now that might make things more difficult is uh, this isn't flat. Oh. But that's okay. We can just make it flat and then it'll just be on more of a tippy toe. Or we build this up. <laughs> the funny thing is, this isn't the weirdest thing that we own. No. <laughs> it's lead weights in there. Oh my gosh, it's, it's lead weights. And they're- it, Are they resined in? They're resined in, it's resined lead weights. Hey, whoever made this, they think just like us. I mean, great minds think alike. <laughs> us and the people that made these legs. Now we opted for three legs because that is a more stable design for like a stool or a table. You're less likely yeah. to have wobbling. Two legs didn't work out Two well legs is right out. <laughs> we also thought about like buying a nice piece of wood, routing it into a circle and all of that. But then we looked online for things that are already circular and made and of wood. wood. This is a Lazy Susan. We looked at cutting boards because like, we thought cutting boards would be cheaper than Lazy Susan's, but no. the Lazy Susan was cheaper. Um, but we do have to do a little operation on it. Wow. Wow, so easy. <laughs> it's a tabletop. Now we also thought about like really complex ways to attach all of these feet to the table. Oh my gosh, look at this. Love, <laughs> I, don't, this. I don't think this is gonna work without us flattening the tops. Cause look, they go inwards, they go inwards. So you, you think we need to like angle them out like this? I think so. Cause look at this. Put, put them all inwards again. Or, this just looks so weird. Like I'm holding two legs like this. And I got a third. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it looks weird. It looks compromising. <laughs> Don't want a crop shot like this. <laughs> no, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> <Wee>. <laughs> yeah, you're right. God dang it. Cause like, if we did it like this, then it'd just be three points really close in. We want yeah. the legs spread out more like this. We gotta spread them. There's no problem. So they, they uh, originally installed the concrete concrete. I just brought the legs inside because we have someone working on our AC in the garage. They were supposed to call beforehand, but they didn't. And so they just showed up and I was like, I gotta get this out of here. So I think we might have a plan. In order to keep the feet level and flat, I think we just need to keep them here in their final position and lower the table down on them. Now there's gaps, it's uneven. How do we fill that? With epoxy, it's an epoxy putty. So I think we're just gonna apply that to the legs, squish it down and hope for the best. Hope everything stays in place. Now to help things stay in place, we're gonna hot glue these feet onto a board and yeah. then we'll pop them off later. It's fine. We kind of mark things out a little bit. You can kind of see where we planned for these to be. I have a major question. What's that? Oh, this is a major question. <gasps> Do we want the legs this way or this way? Oh. I think we might want them going out like this, right? Yes, yes, that's what I want. So that they're going like this. They're doing like a little plie. <laughs> yeah. Plie. Because they're so fancy. Let's glue them down. All right, now we are gonna have to remove a little bit of the finish off where we're gonna attach the legs just so that the epoxy sticks really well. We realized we 
should also probably sand the legs. Normal things, doing normal things in a workshop. It's putty time. Do, 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 do putty time. <laughs> now I've only ever used a small portion of one of these sticks. Usually this is for patching holes in wood. So this is gonna be interesting mixing up an, an entire stick of it, let alone up to six sticks of it. Oh, it smells like someone farted. <laughs> That was me. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's two parts. There's a dark part and the light part, and you need to mix them until it's a uniform color. It smells like an old attic that someone farted in, right? I don't smell anything. Oh yeah. This has about a 10 minute working time, so something to keep in on mind. The clock. All right, here's mine. I'm just gonna apply it right here, kind of form it down. Just to be safe, I'm gonna apply even more. Like that. You know one thing I just realized? What's that? Are we gonna be able to finish all three of these in time? Let's go. Cause we have to get all of them done. Yeah, there's no like do one then wait. Okay, well it's been three minutes since we started. I'm gonna do two at once. Is this a good idea? Should we should we just like attach the one leg? But how do we, no, we gotta squish them all at the same time. We really didn't fully think this through. Okay, this one is basically done. I'll give it to you. All right, yeah, I think yours is ready. Okay, we have five minutes left. Isn't this exciting? We're halfway through technically. So if we keep going at this pace. We have three minutes. Okay, that's plenty of time. Yeah. You don't want to waste our $30 worth of putty. I know. <laughs> okay, okay. All right now I think we just, I think we just get the wood. We lower it. All right, I think it's good. Now we need to weigh it down, we need to squish it. Ooh, I'm seeing contact pretty much all the way around. Right here. Um, I could sit on it. <sighs> no, I think it's good, I think it's good. I'll work it up, I'll work it up. There you go, just like we planned. Just like we planned. We have 15 seconds. <laughs> It's warm. Yeah, it's curing. Yeah, we're we're officially at the 10 minute mark, so it's going. Okay, we'll let this cure, then we'll come back, we'll see if it attached. It's been an hour, so it should be fully cured. Ready? Yeah, can you lift it? <gasps> it did it! Woo! Okay. That's awesome! We could just remove this plastic board and call it good, but we have a couple ideas to finish this off. Normally, alcohol and hot glue will make it release from non-porous surfaces like plastic. And this is technically plastic. I see like the seal breaking. Oh yeah. On the toe. There it is. There oh, it is. This makes me very nervous. There it is. There it is. Where is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's go gentle. Let's go gentle. Oh, we broke the plastic. That's okay. Oh no! We broke the table. Okay. Oh 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 yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> no. Now everything's broken. <laughs> no no, it's okay. They'll, they'll fit back on perfectly. We just need to remember which one is which. It was here. Okay. I think. Right, here, let me relabel them. We are so close. I was so excited about the finishing touches. <laughs> Come on, it's kind of funny. I'm not saying it's not funny, but I am saying this means we have another step before we get to the finishing touches. That's true, that's true. So, baby, what's the game plan? Resin? We have this five minute epoxy. And I'm not sure how much is left in there. Power stance. We did also go ahead and re-sand the top of the legs and the underside of the putty. So hopefully it'll be nice and grippy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be enough. What if we attach this and then it breaks off from the bottom? Do not speak of that.
Let's hope it doesn't break this time. I really hope the resin holds. I'll be gentle so there aren't any extreme impacts. <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> we can add the finishing touches. I just happen to have some hose in my jacket. Because <laughs> this is a fancy table and we need that to reflect and it's aesthetic. So we bought two pairs of thigh highs. Actually, we bought, <laughs> these are thigh high pairs number three and four because the first two pairs we bought, they're in the house somewhere. We can't find them. So they're just, we just have like some hose floating around somewhere. Now let's hope these fit it. Oh yeah, uh, no. They're a little loosey goosey up top. These are supposed to be thigh highs and we're like doing them as knee highs, but. We have to make this work though. That looks. It looks so good. She so looks. So fancy. She, yeah, she looks so fancy. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna basically cut this extra fabric and then tape the hose on. This is actually woodworking tape that's meant to hold down a CNC piece while it's being machined. So hopefully CNC woodworking grade tape is enough to hold some hose in place. <laughs> I'm like, sorry ma'am, every time I'm down here. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, there's a little bit of extra flap back here. I'll just add more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at her. I can't see the tape at all. Were you walking around <laughs> so that you couldn't see it? <laughs> There's a little bit of bunching there, but that's fine. But I think I think once all three are on there, you won't be looking at the back of her knees. Come on. Come on. What are you doing there, you pervert? <laughs> <laughs> Now she's looking pretty good. But she is missing something, and that is a pair of heels. So I've brought in a few of mine, my only heels, to like see if we can get an idea of what size her shoe is and also how tall her heel is. I've just been like noticing like while you've been talking, beautiful, yet kind of intimidating and scary, right? Yeah, she's kind of coming at you like. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my tallest ones first, cause I feel like her angle's pretty high. Were these your uh, wedding heels? Yes, and they're beat up. <laughs> they're beautiful. I tried to evaluate earlier if she was a left foot or a right foot, but she's like a middle foot, so. <laughs> wow. So she's inflexible and that's not gonna work. This is a bendier one and yeah. my second highest. Oh no, okay, the middle strap is making this impossible. Okay, this one's not gonna be tall enough, but maybe we can get an idea of her size. Also, we know that this type of shoe works well. Yes, okay, so she's a little smaller than me. Yeah, because we don't want the heel going too far back. Because it's gonna hit other shoes. If anything, they need to be a little small so her small. heel sticks off. Yeah. But this style of shoe is working. Yeah, where it's very minimal in the front. Okay, so 70, <laughs> seven inches wide, four and a half inch heel. And that's the most important things. Yeah, a little toe, because she's not flexible. Little toe. Okay. To minimize going to the store back and forth, I think we should pack the table in the car. <laughs> Bring her with us? Let's go shopping. It's been several hours. We've been to four stores. We could not find any heels that were tall enough and narrow enough for these feet. And like, what the heck? These are mannequins. Aren't these used to model shoes? Like what, what else is this supposed to be used for? Hose don't fit on them. Yeah, they have nothing for hose. <laughs> so like, is it shoes? I don't know. But finally, finally, I think we found some shoes that are tall enough and narrow enough Let's see if they work. If someone walks by our car right now, what would they think is going on? A party. This looks weird with that in here. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that these work. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna have to adjust this maybe a little bit. So here's the thing, the holes stop here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did so good matching the curve, but she is square. I'm a little worried. Can you, can you see this heel situation happening? There is not room. For the heels? What if, what if you push the others out of the way? <laughs> I, can't, I don't want to pop the legs off. 
You know what? Way back in the beginning when we were like, should we have the legs facing this way or this way? I am remembering that and I do realize that I'm the one that wanted them to face this way because I thought it was funnier. And now I'm very much regretting that because it's preventing us from putting shoes on her. I don't think I can get this one on without like popping the others. Try gently flipping it upside down and seeing what happens. They're all being forced off their shoe. Yes, like this one's going this way, that way, that way. Those are 2 a.m. shoes right there. <laughs> well, maybe this is a 2 a.m. side table, baby. Yeah. I think with a workshop full of tools, we should be able to make this work. She already has supervisor approval. What do you think, Juby? <laughs> I'm so glad that we were able to make the shoes work. Cause that, mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, should we name her? Yes. Legafa. Le <laughs> Le on the nose, but I like it. <laughs> I would rate this project four to five. I agree, I think honestly. It, For a bad project, yeah. it's pretty good. I think we, completed it nicely, even though it's a very niche table to have in our house. You don't think this is widely appealing? No. <laughs> Anyways, thanks y'all for making us do these weird projects. Bye.